normally I wear my baseball cap because I need a haircut. But today I've got to wear the baseball cap because, can you see that? <laughs> I decided to headbutt a cupboard. Nice. Anyway, I'm Phil. I review software. And I thought I would show you my link page. Now, there's lots of different companies that do link pages. Uh, Linktree is probably the most popular one. But I'm going to show you the one I use, which is called Beacons. And in true Phil style, mine is quite cheesy. All right. So why do you have a link page? Because TikTok and LinkedIn and some other social media don't allow you to put actual links in your descriptions. So if you want people to visit and find out about your stuff, you need to say, check out the link in my bio, and then they'll come to the page and they will go to the site. So um, are you ready? <laughs> it's cheesy. I know. But let's have a look at um, Beacons. Here it is. I've got to say, if you do decide to sign up, do it through the link in the description of this video. Even though it's free to start, if you go onto the pay plan, you'll get £20 worth of free credits. Cheers. Yes. <laughs> I know. But um, firstly, you'll see with Beacons. Uh, I love it. I can put my own video at the back. I've only put that one up today. I don't know if I'm going to keep it. It is It is probably a little bit too much, but you can upload a video in the background. This is obviously the website version of it. Uh, it is designed for mobile, but um, you can see that I've got links that I can animate. I know it's cheesy and tacky, but hey, um, to be fair, if you look at the state of a lot of people's link trees, you know, when you, when you look on their bios, I think the fact that mine stands out a bit um, and I've personalised it. Looks pretty good. You can tell me what you think. It's absolutely free to use. The, I do pay something like £10 a month, which I probably don't need to, um, for a few extra features. But what I'd also like to say about um, Beacons, so A, you can set up your site. I'll show you how you do it now. I'll jump into the sort of back end of it now. Um, so that is the actual site. I'll just let me show you what you can do and how you can personalize this so it is actually quite versatile uh you know each page that you set up you can add blocks to and a block could be a link it could be a twitch it could be a tiktok video it could be a twitter you can also add fan requests if that's where you're at a store to sell your products appointments if that's what you do and support please give me some money um and then you can shuffle the link orders so i've just changed these around today so that I put that one at the top to enter my competition. And if I wanted to swap around the order, I could hang on. The links go first. There they are. There are the links. If I wanted to move that one above that one. There they go. They swap order, you see. Uh, and it, it, it works really well. It's really good. All right. So that's that. Um, so not only is it easy to design the site, you can have a solid background. Or in my case, you can have a cheesy video. You can... You know, set out the complete layout. So how do you want it uh, to look? And obviously the colours to really make it look like your own. So that's that. This is actually quite interesting. It shows how often you've not been posting. It's your post activity across the networks. So your 90-day post activity. And brings up your videos. It's actually only showing me December at the moment. It's not the most recent. November through to December. Uh, and then it shows that you for TikTok. For YouTube, I must post more on Twitter, you see. So that's handy. This is even more handy. Um, this is your media kit. So this is obviously I'm not going to get anybody collaborating with me. Just Well, I do get people collaborating with me, but it's in the software world. But if you are a prolific TikTok stroke, Instagram stroke, everything creator, you can store all of your media kit and give the link to your media kit to potential um what they call them off for people who might offer you brand deals. Um, and it it says that mine, I've got a total following of 4.2 thousand people. Uh, yeah, they're just waiting to find out about me. <laughs> but, you know, you can put your top videos and everything. Uh, you can add a video pitch. Hi, I'm Phil. I might actually do that. Your contact form and change the design. It's got the media kit. This is the money page. You can invoice uh, if you are a proper creator and do your accounts which actually going along the line will be very interesting to me. If, if this if this will kind of work for me, um, and it's not expensive, so that I could possibly a put all your costs in. That's the main thing, you know, your costs. So if you are a creator, which it's it's only a little side hustle for me, but if eventually I can sort of in, you know all the income I've got, all the brand deals I dream of getting four thousand five hundred and sixteen pounds for a brand deal. Uh, come on, sign me up, somebody. Um, 
and then obviously take off all the costs of all your subscriptions and stuff that you pay for. That will be really handy. Uh, but the main thing I want to show you is your site settings. So I've got a custom domain, uh, which expires in May 23. That wasn't expensive. I can, um, I've got sensitive branding off. You can change your TikTok and put all your IDs in so you can monitor yourself. But this is the main one I want to show you. It's the insight. So uh, I can see that in the last 30 days, I have had 132 people visit my site. Now, who knows where they're from? Uh, it, here it says there's 10 from TikTok. 14 from Facebook, two from Instagram. I'm not prolific yet. I, I didn't claim to do. So it so it tells you, number one, the funnel of where they're coming from, and number two, where they are going to. So in the last month, I've got three people going to subscribe to my channel. One's visited some software. Okay. So, yes, it's small time. I'm not saying it's not. But you might well be, a you know, I'm not prolific on TikTok yet. I will be soon. Uh, but really handy statistics. So, yes, I do recommend it. And the other thing is, is you can have multiple pages. Um, so, and again, I'm thinking of changing these rounds. So most people will say that you only need one page. But it might be in your case that you actually want to have the shop on another page. And it might be that you want to have some special deals on the other page. You can set that up and have as many pages as you want. So, that's it. Um, I will put a link in the description of this video. Uh, so that you can check it out for yourself. Uh, it's called Beacons, and yeah, it's the one I use. Uh, and I think as I progress, because it's a long battle. This it's not, it's not, it's not a sprint. It's a marathon. And uh, as we grow, I think it'll be a really useful tool. Tell everybody what you tell. Well, tell everybody. Tell me in the description what you think and uh, what your favourite link page software is. Oh, and I should add at the end that they also, and I presume you will be able to join this if you sign up for Beacons, um, they have a community uh, where people can, it's a forum kind of thing where people can sign up and, you know, try and get brandy, you know, it's all a gear. And I should add that they also have a community and I presume you can join this when you sign up and the Beacons community, there's Natalie, the Beacons manager. Hi, Natalie. Um, they have a live kind of meet when they're on. Uh, but as well as that, there's, it's kind of a forum where you can look for brand deals, get advance, get advice on, brand deals and marketing and growing and uh yeah a form a handy forum of fellow creators so it's also on just thought i'd tag that on the end cheers everyone and now <laughs> i'm probably gonna have to go and get a stitch in my head <laughs> see you later <laughs>